Yeah. Your brain was trying to convince you that that it was reality, so you wouldn't go insane. Yeah, it's like my subconscious mind wanted me to believe that everything in the dream was just as real as the real world. I don't understand why. I don't know, man. It's not my specialty. I guess physics can't give me an answer on this one. Not this time. It's like all the projections in my subconscious mind are connected in some way. It's like they all share the same thoughts. Did you ever hear the theory that maybe the subconscious mind stores all the information in the entire universe? And that's why uh, dreams can be so over the top of detail sometimes? No, but I heard the theory that the brain stores every bit of information you've ever perceived since you were an infant and could consciously perceive reality. What if everything the subconscious takes in in someone's lifetime is passed on from generation to generation like the predisposition for languages. Well, predispositions are complicated. Consciousness is complicated. The whole brain is complicated. Years and years of research, and the only discoveries can get us from deficiencies in the brain to the normal brain. brain. But what is a normal brain, though? Like, every person's brain is different, because the neurons firing off make everyone's personality different, right? Right. Well, how true is that, though? What do you mean? Is it really that simple? It looks like it, doesn't it? What if consciousness is something more than just neurons firing? Maybe. I mean, how do you explain the blueness of blue or the feeling you get when you're inspired from neurons firing in the brain?